GAA. We all belong here, in this place, at this time. We belong not because of who we are or where we come from. Being here means belonging. Belonging means knowing you're part of a community. A community that has a place for all. Where potential is nurtured. Where individuals become teams. We honour the legacy of those who went before and strive to build a legacy of their own. Some of us play, some of us used to play, some of us never played. We all belong. Belonging means having a voice, means being able to say what you think is right. Being listened to. Belonging means respecting each other, means being there for each other, on the pitch, off the pitch. Belonging means rolling our sleeves up and doing what needs to be done. We all belong, whether it's our first day or our hundredth year. We all belong here, because this place belongs to us all. Our GAA, where we all belong. And welcome along here to the county grounds in Ockram on an overcast uh, Sunday evening here for the second Senior Hurling Championship semi-final, a Lightning Protection Ireland Senior Hurling Championship semi-final here in the county grounds. Um, overcast, as I say, both teams putting the, the finishing touches to their warm-up uh, warm routines here in front of us here from the press box here on the bank side. A slight breeze heading down towards the dress rooms, the uh, tricolour there floating in the wind. You join us after an uh, absolute belter of a second semi-final. If you weren't watching it you, for your information, Glen Neely are true to the uh, county final next Sunday. They blitzed Carnew. 218 to 14 points in uh, an absolutely spellbinding performance from Glen Neely uh, in patches I presume what you could say but before us now we were looking at the men of Bray and the men of Kiltegan Kiltegan, Kiltegan are down below us in a huddle at their dugout Damien Bosburn their chairman is giving them last minute instructions uh, their arms wrapped around each other's shoulders Bray going through their, their routines there taking pot shots at the post and getting the feel of the balls in the hand my name is Brendan Lawrence here uh, you normally read me from the Wicklow people but I've joined the press corps here in the press box because because Emmett O'Sullivan has uh, other duties today and he can't be here with us. And I'm joined here by the man bun uh, sporting Alan Nolan from Anacora here. Um, Alan, I have to say, James Lowe hasn't a patch on you there with that man bun. Uh, uh, when did you decide to grow it and how has, how has it progressed? It's progressed fairly well, Brendan. It's COVID hair and nothing else. Right. Yeah, right. Nine times out of ten, I have a, a baseball cap on and it's just, it's just got out of control, really. Well, I have to say it's very fetching now from, from my point of view now. And I wouldn't be an expert on man buns or anything, but I have to say, fairly fetching. Listen, to the business of the day. A nearly impossible match to call on, you'd have to say. Every part of you would probably think that Bray are looking like they're go they could win this comprehensively. But at the same time, you look at Contiga's form through the championship where they've shocked a few. They've come from the wilderness, you'd have to say. 2009, I think, was the last semi-final they were in. Uh, and they've impressed. Yeah. And they've hurlers all over the field. So you just can't call this match. Yeah, absolutely. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm caught between two, uh, two swords here now, and I'm, I am. I'm going to go kill Tegan here today myself. I just think if they start strong, um, which they have so far, and I just think the wrong, uh, half time come the wrong time for them the last day against Glenelly, and like I know you can't call that, but like it yeah. did, and it just it rocked them a little bit, and they were lucky probably not to get a goal near the end of the game. Sean Germain got a ball saved off the line, um, again Glenelly, like but Glenelly made set changes at different times, but like that's uh, that's a different game. But yeah. uh, like Bray are strong. Look at the, the, in two games. They scored 540 and they've only conceded 223. Yeah. Kiltegan in three games have scored 345 and conceded 438. You know what I mean? Like, it like, does speak for itself but Kiltegan they are look at the full build of health here two teams starting as match programmed yeah. you know. and we'll just go through some programmes very quickly for, so Bray Emmett's the defending champions in goal Connor McNally full back line of Peter Kiley Carl Lacey Davy Maloney half back line of James Anders John Henderson and Keane Lohan midfield Luke Maloney and Dermot Masterson Mikey Lee at 10 the captain Mark Lennon at 11 and Owen McCormack at 12 and Ben McCormack Mikey Boland and Christy Moorhouse in the full forward line Kiltegan Luke Burning in goals our captain Michael Mangan is in corner back Brian Carney Colm Keogh making up the full back line. Brandon Ryan, Owen Bourne, Porrick Bourne in the half back line. Mark Murphy, Porrick O'Toole in the middle of the field. Aaron Bourne, the lively Sean Germain and Stephen Coogan in the half forward line. And Liam Kyo, Sean Murphy and Owen Bourne will look to cause Bray Emmett's damage in the uh, full forward line. A change to our referee, uh, Kieran Goff is the man in the middle. Liam Keenan, I believe, was injured in the football match tonight. Alan, can you confirm? Yes, I can confirm. Again, Avoca um, yeah. in the Junior C, Division 5, uh, whatever you want to call it. Yes. yes. So the, uh, the Keenan family uh, double is unfortunately off, but look at... Yeah, the thing you would build them up for on social media. A, sm a small bit, a small bit. But it was, it was a unique, sort of a quirky little thing, wasn't it, in fairness? And, you know, it should be, should be celebrated. But anyway, Kieran Goff from Aero Grace. Is in, the, is in the middle for this match and teams lining up as we're expecting uh, Alan as we look out there yeah 
Mikey Mangan's coming over on to Christy Moorhouse. That's an interesting... No, it's Brian Carney. Brian Carney on Christy Moorhouse and Michael Mangan in there on... It's young McCormick, is it? Yeah, Ben McCormick. And that leaves... Uh, Colm Kyo then to pick up uh, Mikey Boland by the looks of things. Kieran Goff has the ball in his hands in the middle of the field. The crowd start to get behind the teams here. Uh, excellent atmosphere for the first game, Alan. I'm sure you'll agree. Uh, the Glenlivet voice in full. Uh, in crowd yeah, in full voice. And full deserved winners, absolutely. Oh, they 100%. Were, they were immense on the day, they were. Yeah. Absolutely, and they'll take some stop. And ball is in here in the county grounds in Ockham. A wild, or not a wild pull, but a pull from Bray, and it's missed. But John Henderson sends the ball long down to the number 14, Mikey Boland. Can he win this ball? He collides with Christian Moorhouse. Boland still gets the ball in hand. Uh, serious pressure from the Cleveland defence. Out to Mark Lennon, the team captain, red helmet, wearing number 11. Here he comes, down along the sideline towards the scoreboard end, tries to flick it back, but a poor strike, and goes only as far as Mark Murphy, the Stratford Grange con man, but it's out over the sideline for an early Bray sideline cut here. Uh, any changes you're seeing, Alan? Nothing as of yet, we're, we're, we're keeping it simple first, thanks be to God. Good to see Davey Maloney back, uh, you know, recently returned from injury there, a serious talent, uh, played for Wicklow this year, a great little cornerback. He is, he's very, very dogged now, and you see the first ball that went in there, Christy kind of acted more as a defender than a forward there, he kind of done Keegan a bit of a favour. Yeah, in fairness, yeah, took, took Mike yeah, with a little shoulder there. But Brian Carney, as expected, is picking up uh, Christy Moorhouse. That's going to be an interesting toss. The sideline taken into the square here, but uh, won by Kiltegan and going to be cleared long. That's by their number seven there, Parik Bourne from Balaman. It's long down to Jermaine. Jermaine's a serious talent, boys. John Henderson's all over him, flicks the ball away. But away come Kiltegan now to sideline now. They're under serious pressure. Ball out over the sideline. Second sideline in as many, as many minutes, you might say. And uh, Chris Canavan puts the flag up. It's going to be a brave sideline ball here now. No score with just a minute on the clock. Oh, an interesting tussle, Alan. As you say, you tipped uh, Kiltegan to win. That's a very big call now, in fairness. But look at it's there for them, isn't it? It is there for them now. They have the wind that his favour them, but blown into the town goal here, the scoring goal, as we will call it, um, on many a day here. But, but no other team to love the underdog tag and to love the sort of, you know, everything writing them off or whatever. They, they bring in that dog at the championship team every year they do. 100%. Mark Lennon, long ball down into the uh, brave full forward lane, but it's batted away there by uh, Brian Carney. Brian Carney, but Christy Morehouse robs. Christy Morehouse strikes over the bar, surely for the first score of the game. It is John. John and uh, Keenan puts the flag in the air he's acting as the umpire down there with the father and it's one point to no score for uh, Bray Emmett here in the early stages so the Keenan a Keenan double as of sorts there on the on the post there Alan some of it, right? yeah <laughs> Now, Aaron Byrne for Kiltegan on the attack, gives it off to Jermaine. Jermaine turns and fires the ball in low. Now, danger for the Bray, the full back line. Davy Maloney's out there. How can he get it? No, misses. Kiltegan on the attack, win it. Number 13, Liam Kyo has a strike for the point and a great reply for Moorhouse's opener there from uh, Liam Kyo from Kiltegan. Allen, they moved the ball well. They did, and they very simply could. Another little ricochet there, and they could have been in for a major there, but look at, they'll take the score. They've got the score going, and it's from play as well. Gaps were there, in fairness. So, look at, yeah, there's maybe goals to be pilfered. Uh, Bray's Connor McNally, long puck out down the stand side. Up goes the Brayman over there. It's uh, Mikey Lee wearing number 10 today. Mikey, good to see him back here. Black helmet. Oh, lovely touch now. A ball on the hurl. Here he goes. So it winds up a little swing, but it's over, going to the right and going wide. Red in the hill end. And uh, there's a posse of young car new hurlers out there waiting for stray balls. Yeah, and Patrick Byrne is going to have a serious job on his hands today to try to stay with Mikey Lee. Like, Mikey Lee just stretched the legs there and got away. From massive test, yeah, massive test. Now, long puck out down. There's a, a whistle for a push in the back. It's going to be a brave free. Talk to me about Pajot Tool. Alan, where's he lining out and who's he taking on? He's uh, lining out uh, centre forward, as far as I can see at the minute. And, well, he's drifting in and out between him and um, uh, him and Shawnee Germain. But, like, it's going to be puck outs here that is where they're going to try to get... Um, neutralise uh, Podge into this game now Luke Maloney is a huge player for Bray and often goes unrecognised in fairness now what, you know, how, how big is he for Bray and who's going to look after him today it's hard to know Brenton <laughs> we'll see now in the next 10-15 minutes and I'll, I'll come back to you on that one <laughs> but a key player isn't he in fairness uh, he does he, untold work he does and doesn't yeah. get recognition for a half yeah, exactly half Christy Moorhouse now halfway towards the, the bank side here under the press box lifts and strikes screen helmet on the head it looks to be going to the left am I right or wrong yeah to the left another wide for Bray Allen early doors uh, a point apiece here uh, Lightning Protection Ireland Senior Hurling Championship semi-final county grounds in Ockram overcast slight mist around the edges of the horizon here but a nice puck out from uh, Luke Byrne down here now and is sent long into the space here Aaron Byrne is, is going across and so too is Keane Lohan Lohan wins that race here can he get the ball away no blocked brilliantly by Jermaine but Lohan picks it back up here he comes again second attempt down the stand side away it goes now can Mangan win this ball Brian Carney in the loose here comes Mikey Bowling number 40 oh here's McCormack the danger man the goal no it's back is it it's going back going back for a free oh I was getting excited there Alan you, you, you really burst my bubble there I did hold on Brendan will you come back keep up with the play here the lads are nearly passed out <laughs> but hey oh McCormack 
Yeah. It's all about like when he gets the bit of space, lads, you're in serious trouble. Look at how many times we saw a donut for the county when he opens up them legs and strides away. Like yeah. he, he, two strides, he can be nearly ten paces away. Hundred percent, like. yeah, hundred percent. Fine long legs in fairness now, but he can take sideline ball and under the at the stand side here. Taken low down towards number, Liam Kyo, number 13, out off Kyo. It's going to be a brace sideline ball. He kicks the ball away in disgust. And it will be another brace sideline here. Point of piece if you're just joining us. No doubt you can see the score on your screen here. Fantastic service being provided by Wicklow GAL. And in fairness for people all over the world to be able to watch their games. It's brilliant to see and a great uh, initiative. Now, ball into space here, but out comes uh, Brian Carney's Shoulder off Mark Lennon. There's two strong men meeting in the middle. Oh, lovely, lovely little flick by Lennon away here. Here comes to, uh, is it Christy Morehouse? It is Christy Morehouse. And it is a point for Bray. Super score. Flick of the wrist. Two points to one. Christy wearing 15, of course. Uh, Kieran Goff caused a little bit of a delay. Pucker taken too quickly, I think. Yeah, Luke Byrne. Kiltegan have finally set up now and opted for a two-man full forward line with um, 15 Owen Byrne coming out around uh, hit their own 65, trying to pick up a few breaks. Yeah, and it'd be great to see Owen getting on the ball because like, he is a serious talent, like you know, just up out of minor, great talent for for Kiltegan coming forward. Ball, scrappy play over there. Comes to the number eight there, Mark Murphy. Ball now, Kiltegan. Jermaine gets a flick out here to Aaron Byrne. Is he going to win it? No. Oh, the ball is the flick is missed by the Bray man. Here he comes, Davy Maloney, bright yellow helmet on him, bursting through the middle now, being chased hard by Sean Murphy, the full forward misses. Here's uh, Mikey, Mikey Lee, turns. Oh, uh, look at getting a bit of time to space, but it's a poor ball, looking for Dimmer Masters and gathered there by Michael Mangan. He flicks away then to Mark Murphy, his club man, Stratford Grange, Connor, away he goes, now Warren McCormick chasing hard. Long ball, long ball, but a nameless ball, no, no Kiltiga man in that space. Oh, but the break keepers missed it. Shawnee Jermaine's in, the, in all over the place, out oh, for 65 for... For uh, Kiltegan, nervous moments, Alan? Very, very nervous there. Conor <laughs> McNally. Conor McNally, he misjudged that ball and slipped, hit the, more like hit the palm of his hand, not the fingers, and bounced out half him. But like, it was a hit and hope to nothing because like, if uh, the Kiltegan man had to go up, Sean Murphy was in an acre space down underneath us here where he had come out to try to receive a ball but hadn't got back into the full forward line. And like, it was two on one in there and like, Jermaine done well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, six, almost seven minutes on the clock. He has 65 taken quickly to Jermaine. Bray should have been really on top of that because Jermaine would have been taking that normally out then to uh, Aaron Byrne. And a great score for Kiltegan. Brilliant score for Kiltegan. They're keeping well, well in touch in this game. Two points apiece and uh, seven minutes on the clock, Alan Nolan. Yeah, absolutely. Look at it. Say, keep the goals down and like, try keep as many frees as possible to a minimum for the, on the Bray side and like you're in with a chance. Yeah, absolutely. Now, here comes the puck out down on top of uh, Owen McCormick with one there by Mikey Lee instead. Mikey being hassled hard by Michael Mangan. Long ball. No, the ball blocked out. Well, blocked out to uh, 13 here. It's uh, Ben McCormick. With Kiltegan back in possession. Oh, lo lo sloppy play there. Owen McCormick wins now. What can he do? Can he get a little flick away? Hassled by two Kiltegan men. High hurl there. Surely back for a free. It'll be Kieran Goff has the hand in the air. No doubt. Not, not bad for you to give away, Brendan. You don't condone, uh, you don't condone violence or anything like that, but look at <laughs> that man in for goal there, you're in trouble. But like Mangan done very, very well there to get across to Mikey Lee, but I, I have said that already. Um, I, I surely think uh, Podrick, Podrick Byrne is in trouble over there trying to keep a, keep a handle on Mikey Lee. Yeah, no absolutely. Ogden Byrne has broken a hurl and the brother runs in to replace it. Ogden has been steady in this championship. Uh, Alan, has he? Yeah, look, he's solid enough. He's a big unit there, you know. Like, but a lot of balls have like the half back line do be bypassed sometimes in games, you know, in yeah. Ireland. Yeah. So the Bray free, Chrissy Morehouse probably only one result. Yes, John Keenan heads for the flag, and uh, Bray return to the front, three points to two. Puck out taken quickly by Luke Bourne down on top of Shawnee Germain. Germain a little push to back for John Henderson, but class defensive play and a puck out of the sky. Brilliant. Reminds you of Danny Staunton, two very similar from in them positions. Now where we go, Mark Lennon down to Morris on the sideline. He's going to go for this one high into the sky, lads. It looks to be drifting wide of the post. It is, yes, it is. The umpire seems are wide, but Morehouse full of confidence. Full of confidence. He only looked oh, over his shoulder. Danger, poor puck out. Oh, poor puck out from uh, Luke Byrne there. Straight to the hurl of Ben McCormick and straight over the bar. Mistakes they don't need to make, Alan. No, settle down. There's no need to rush a quick, a quick puck out there. Just take your time. 100%. Now, dear Masson, lovely hurling here. Gets the ball off, out of the air, but he's going to be one, you would imagine, by Kiltegan's uh, Brandon Ryan. Does so. Gets the ball into the middle here to Ogden Byrne. Now, he's going to go, whoa, hurl, hurl it right up into Mikey Bowl. Um, probably the worst decision you could have made Brian Carney now in possession he'll probably clear it further down the field I think oh Podge Batool goes up to win this he will get up off the ground but it has Mark Lennon for company ah lovely play from uh, Mark Murphy Mark Murphy tigerish midfielder ball across the middle is going to be won by Mikey Lee this is sloppy enough from Kiltegan now long ball down there's three Kiltegan men around McCormick there oh the ball is going to be into a bit of space there's Brian Carney is it yeah 
Carney just went, no, ball, ball, spit, uh, there's a free out, says Kieran Goff, Bray not happy, but, uh, yeah. I love it, a little tug of the hurl there as well, the like, you know, but like, that's good defending there, Rock and Burn getting that back in behind him, Mangan and Carney, they, they, look, you can see they have a bond there together, they know exactly what each other is doing, like, and they're right beside each other's shoulder, like, and that's good defending. Yeah, in fairness, yeah. Uh, for free after nine and a half minutes, like, what, eight minutes before you mentioned John Henderson, Henderson's name, Yes. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. Now, Ogden Burn's going to take this on his own, 21. See, not a great strike down in space. Aaron Bourne is there, possibly to win it. Ball breaks with him and his marker. It's Bray's uh, number 17, Lohan. Ball to Mark Lennon in space. He's the one thing he'll always do, he'll turn and head for goal, shoot for goal, but to the left and wide. Mark Lennon's protesting that. No, but look, Kieran got straight. Yeah. He couldn't be any better. Uh, and no Liam Keenan ball. Senior has, uh, was straight away to wave a wide, but Bray leading by four points to two in this Lightning Protection Ireland uh, Senior Hurling Championship semi final. A word of uh, congratulations for the Wicklow ladies. Marvellous, marvellous victory. 2 17 to 1 9 against Antrim today. Uh, put the pain of last year's defeat finally to bed, Alan. Ah, great, great win. Great win. Look, yeah. buddy, you were comfortable in the driving seat from the get go. Absolutely, absolutely. Katiga now in the attack down to Sean Murphy, but won well by Carl Lacey, the brave full back. Takes the tap on the hurl. Oh, he's hooked brilliantly by Murphy, though. Murphy never gives up, but can he win this one back? No, he can't. Hack clear to Dearman Masters now, the midfielder. Dearman Masters gives it off to the corner back there, Peter Kiley, but Goff is calling it back. There's a man down, and Bray, Bray are very concerned. It's not good anyway. It's not good. Down, like, when you see another player, uh, Carl Lacey, calling in the physio from the opposing team, yeah. like, I think he's down holding his hand, is it? It's Murphy, wrist, is it? Wrist hand, yeah, wrist hand arm area. Um, oh, the Mead ladies have won. The Mead, we're getting word through. The Mead ladies have won. They've beaten Dublin. Paul Garrigan. Uh, I think you said there before the, the match, was it? Paul Garrigan for president, I'm thinking, and the other two bottom ass men who, who, who are with him. Um, um, what an achievement, Alan. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I, I think just directed the statue of that man in Ballon Hill up there now and be done oh, with. It's, 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 a, it's a phenomenal achievement. Like, you know... Is this the first water break? Or, or would you, is it just a... No, it's just old, yeah, Kieran Conway warming up here now. Oh, well, actually, team. sorry, it's the gravity, the injury thing, because yeah, the both teams are heading for their dugouts, yeah. yeah. Okay. No. It's a hand injury, is it? It looks to be hand, wrist, arm, sort of very wrist, says our, our cameraman here. He has a, oh, the eagle eye on it. I say, when you carry lazy straight away, calling someone in, so it's not yeah. good. Um, but look at that's that's the joy of the sporting, the From sporting world, as the lad says. Like from a, I suppose if you're looking at it, now this doesn't benefit anybody really. Does Kiltigan more hurling badly? Bray were okay. Maybe it benefits Kiltigan slightly more, does it? Or? Um, it's hard to really call. Really, I suppose that well, it doesn't have to go and possibly losing their full forward. Well, that <laughs> doesn't benefit them no. anyway. Like you have, you have the chairman coming in here now as well, and if you're getting around him, are we on in for a lengthy break here? You have Kiltigan's chairman over there now as well. Look, at it doesn't look good. There's phone calls being made, so um, it's, it's if anyone's listening and they're very concerned, it's, it's not you know. No. It's, it's it's an arm, it's a limb, so it's not it's, it's not yeah, it's yeah. not it's not too concerning. But uh, he is down, he's getting treatment, and there's uh, both teams have gone back into their respective huddles. Yes, yeah, sure, I suppose we can reflect on the game beforehand here today, Brendan. Like yes. uh, as we said before, like uh, Glen Ely were it's the best I've saw him now in the last number of years. But from from one to fifteen, they were electric everywhere. Like the opening look, quarter was just the water, like, and it's all, like it's the water break come at the wrong time for him as well because mm. there was no water break come half time. I think it was completely and utterly game over because yeah. they were just cruising. Um, but look at the, the the fire in their belly. Like they would, every time a carry young man got a ball, it was three on one. They're, yeah. they're, they're tackling, they're, they're they're finding men, they're, they're diagonals around the, the field. Like like it looked like the back line, carry back line were under so much pressure. But, but, but it was the ball that was coming in yep. and getting into him from 80, 60, 70 yards in like they were just laser passes and then you, know? you had the likes of Danny then the half back line just plucking ball yeah. out of the sky sending ball forward like 2-18 two, 2-15 two two from play their, their half back line were, was really I think where the massive difference was am I right in saying yeah, they, yeah. they dominate that game from start to finish today yeah like and then bringing on two, two old soldiers there like Wayne O'Gorman and Tommy Dye like Tommy known for playing in the backs all his life suppose he come on wing forward scored two great points from play underneath yeah. us here you know yeah like, in, like I thought kind of away from myself I thought he was, he, the chap come on he done very very well today um, he got a small run out the last day again kill Cole and Arclough but he come on like, first ball he got he scored a monster score and the next two balls that Wayne O'Gorman got like he dispossessed him, and yeah. you know, like that'll yeah. do that, that 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 chap. I don't think he'll he'll come on the next day. I think he might start whatever the next day is next well, year. Maybe next is. year, yeah, because yeah. he's obviously he's tied up now with Carnew in the final next week. But and so yeah, look at there's, there's a lot to be done there, Carnew. Like you can take some positives out of it. Like you know, they're they're going home now. They're, they're hurting at the minute, you yeah. know. But yeah. they, they were a bit by a far better team oh, today. Oh, out the door, you know? they can be no excuses about no, that. It was no, yeah, absolutely exceptional from yeah. Lily. 
And but they, they'll, they'll, as Michael Anthony was telling me after the game, they have things to work on too, and they do. In fairness, ah, they spells. don't because they did. They they, they, they fell over it like a small bit. Like yeah. you come back to a, to a one score game there at one stage, yeah. like and then they got the second goal right at the right time oh, because killed it. Yeah, like yeah, that game it was about it was the, that was the big swing. Yes, yeah, yeah you know? that was the the, the yeah. after the nail in the coffin in fairness, but. Jesus, some of the scores. Um, yeah. Sorry to take the Lord's name in vain there, but uh, yeah. I yeah. think you'd be happy enough with Jenny Rory. Gary Hughes uh, plucked one out of the sky there, turned the rifle over the bar. Like, yeah. And I think, that, I think that probably was score of the day. Oh, it was you know? exceptional. And like, Karen, you would only get a score up here. Yeah. Quick poke out down top of him and straight over the bar. Yeah. You just, know? He, he done so well. Uh, their attack has such potential. Gavin Weir, like, I mean, yeah, we, well, we haven't spoken about him much this year. Like, Gavin, he, he was really on fire. Like, and Martin Brain's one of the best man markers in the county, but look, he just no answer for him today. Yeah. You know, and I was talking. Right, thinking that Gavin Weir got 1 6 today, is he that got right? 1 6, yeah, and 1 4 from play. Yeah. You know, yeah. and. Actually, like, of their whole score, play was was the majority, was it? You yeah, tell me a stat. 2 15 out of 1 out of 2 18. You know, like, that's, yeah. that's fair going. That is know? fair going. Um, there's a lot here where we're lately break here now we're starting to renew something to talk about Brendan really aren't we? Should we'll talk about something should we'll talk about knocking Anna Hurlers or yes, huh? going well. or Anna Curlers Division 5 team there's a, or is 4 is it sorry is it, uh, Division 5 Brendan Division 5 I yeah. believe their manager is up for manager of the year award uh, so I'm told Our, I haven't heard I, I got the inside line I think right. yeah okay. exceptional performance by his manager, by the manager well not the other night or his man won alone <laughs> <laughs> we went down badly the other night now the same Pats are right um, ah but they're that, they would be a strong team a strong though strong team we were missing good few players not making excuses but look at they were deserved winners on the night I suppose are, are we doing the Hurling public out, out of are we doing a, a, an unfair thing here talking about football uh, on this stop talking about here anyway. <laughs> 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 you know, like, well sorry about that now but look at yeah so we still have a lengthy break here Sean is still down um, as we say, it's it's a wrist hand sort of area. Um, Bray are leading four points to two here. There was there was a sixteen on the clock now, but obviously it's going to be lots of injury time. But both panels are down in their dugouts. Yeah, like we'll go to the intermediate final next week. There, you can't yeah, in the final again, uh, again Bray. You know, like Bray got off to. Uh, <laughs> they're, I suppose they're probably coming into a favourites as a running team, you know. But like looking at the Carnew team, there they they a lot of soldiers on that, you know, with a lot a lot of experience. But it, like, looking at the end of it there yesterday, they, they were tiring, you yeah. know. Like so, it depends on what Bray will bring. If they bring a complete and out and out running game, possibly Carnew could struggle. Mm. But as I say, about grinding out results, Carnew probably have the, the vast experience there. Like Timmy, centre back there was he just. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, for rocks, for rocks to leave Timmy just, yeah. you know, loose, I mean, it's kind of, you're inviting a lot of trouble, aren't you? Oh, yeah, actually, like, he, he, like a wand in his hand when you give him room, like, yeah. like a wand in his hand any day of the week, yeah, you know, but like when yeah. you give that man room to do what he wants to do, he, he'll punish you all day long. And I mean, you, know? you had, for Bray, like I thought Cash was brilliant, yeah. young Lamb, young Lamb was being marked there, it was Emmett Byrne was marking him, yeah. and he goes, like, that's not an easy job to, to no. be marked by him and yet to, to shine like he did, like, yeah. and, you know, such a, you know, sort of aerodynamic young chap. Here we're up now anyway, we're getting the clap coming off the field, that's great to see. Yeah, great to see, the arm is in the sling, so as you say, it's not an overly serious, but he has played his last act in this game, and uh, I haven't seen the change coming in. Just I think it was 20, he's getting ready there, Kieran Conway. Kieran Conway, yeah. That's what we're going by, but that's You've the only lad I saw, that he is, he's out there on the field. Now you very on. helpfully underlined that on my team sheet there, I'd like to thank you for that, Alan. I'm here to help. Yep, that's yeah. very decent of you in fairness. Yeah. Uh, but as you say, 17 on the clock, we didn't stop it, so it will be a good bit of injury time. I think there was 11 on it. Was it? Yeah. Oh, we're at on six now. Just, this is good going, isn't it? Yeah. It's a bonus territory, is it, for us? I'd say it's great to be back with you, Breno. It's ah, been look, a long time. Oh, my God. It's been, I've, I've, I mentioned Katiga were in the wilderness, but I've been in a bit of the wilderness myself, Alan. <laughs> we're, oh, <for> some, <laughs> love, love uh, kisses being blown. Get her room. Get her room, says the lad, yeah. And we're just about to get back underway. Here we go. Dermot Masson has the ball on the ground. Bray leading by four points to two. Masterson strikes such a talented hurler as Masterson down on top of Mikey Lee now what can Mikey Lee do but he's been hassled there and hard by Parik Bourne from Balamanis ball is on the ground dirty Lee is trying to win it gets a little shouldn't into the back but all fair and square says Goff ball in the hand of Brian Carney sends it long down the field Carney super down on top of Davey Maloney ball breaks to Shawnee Germain in ball in hand John Henderson all over him has Shawnee lost his hurl he hasn't John Henderson has lost his hurl Shawnee Picks the ball up, but the ball's going to be won by Henderson now. No hurl. Hand pass out to uh, Bray's number seven, Keen Lone, and the ball is set long down the field, down on top of Brian Carney. And uh, Christy Morehouse, who can get the ball up in the air? It's uh, Mikey Boland. Mikey Boland turn. Mikey Boland strikes. Can Mikey Boland score? I think he can. Can he, Alan? He surely can, Mikey Boland. Super strike. Uh, making it five points to two for Bray Emmons, and the ball now with Luke Bourne, the Keegan goalkeeper, looking for options. Has a rethink. 
Now goes long stand side down on top of Jermaine. Jermaine is the focal point of this attack. J- John Henderson. Oh, look at you! Go- I possibly keep it away from Jermaine. I would say. Adam. Absolutely. Look at that. that's like throwing cookies to a bear there yeah. for Henderson. All Absolutely. Yeah. Maloney uh, off to uh, James Anders. Anders long looking for for Mikey Bowling now. Mikey Bowling will chase hard here by Colin Kyo, but it's going to be a serious job. Oh, Bowling gets a few yards on him. Bowling lifts. Bowling or he strikes and over the bar again. That break Sue had braided it. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> they're after getting in there and they're after Carly's after having a good old chat with him, I suppose, like you can get the ball in quick and that's what they're doing. Yeah. Because because Keegan, you know, they were, they were well populated back there, they were causing serious troubles. That book was a bit stray. Comes up uh, Mark Lennon now, Mark Lennon in the middle of the field, he'll wind up. Oh lovely. It's the one uh, pathway the whole time now. Mikey Boland again, Colin Kyo, trying manfully, red helmet, but Boland goes for a strike. This will really break hearts if it goes over, lads. I think that's gone over, Alan. That's gone over, Alan. That's, that's serious damage being done by this Bray attack. Every time down to that corner for the last three three points for, for Bray. Seven points to two. They've opened up a five-point gap. Two minutes there now. He's after wrestling now. Three scores, you know. like that's, that's this, not this was a danger that you could see coming, couldn't you? You could. But like, you had to try one or two puck outs down on top of a podge told her. They haven't tried it yet. Like Here comes uh, Luke Burns this time down on top of uh, Davey Maloney. And who into the hands of uh, John Henderson again. You'd have to wonder, Stephen Coogan pressing hard. Oh, high from Coogan. High from Coogan on the Bray, man. Yeah, they're going to have to try something else. Like, you tried the short one here, it didn't work out as well. A, a, a bad poke out and over the bar. Like, and they're after the last, the last three they've lost here now as well. David Maloney takes that free long down on top of uh, Mikey Boland again. Boland now, oh, he's in a bit of space here. Will it be the same result? Looks to be wide this time. Wide of uh, Luke Burns upright. Boland's flat out the last few minutes. Yeah, there's a bit of a switch going on now. I think uh, Mangan, Michael Mangan's going over on to. I'm wondering how long that was going to last. Like, you can't man mark everyone. No, you know. Whereas, yeah, Mangan's gone over to uh, Mikey Boland. Here comes the puck out now. Down here on the bank side, this time he's switching his sides down top of Stephen Coogan. Ball is flicked off a of Bray Hurl. And that's uh, Anders, and it's out for a Kiltegan sideline ball. Will be taken by Kiltegan's Brandon Ryan. Great to see Kiltegan back at this stage, isn't it? It's oh, great to see. It's great like for it, it is, it is. Like, look, at they were a powerhouse for years and years back, back there. Like, he's near 0-9 since they've got this far. Like, and it'd be great to see him in a final. Oh, it would. It'd be, it'd fant- be great for Harlan. Not, not taking that away from Bray, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Brandon Ryan takes the sideline cut. Down. One here by breaking ball. Again, the man, the man with the wand, John Henderson, wins it. Gives a loose-ish hand pass out. And it's won by Aaron Byrne for Kiltegan. What can Aaron do? Gets the hand pass in there. Does well in fairness to the new man in. It's Kieran Conway. Under serious pressure from uh, John Henderson. Henderson holds him up. Ball is going to trickle over the sideline. No, it doesn't. Uh, uh, Conway has lost the ball and lost his hurl. I think down. Oh, it's over the sideline, says Chris Canavan. Over the sideline. Going to be a Kiltegan sideline ball. Dermot Masters and Podge O'Toole are sharing... Some niceties yeah, down there. Conway's going to have to rethink really if he's going to think he's going to take on John Henderson with, with muscle power and try to get by him there. Try, twice he tried to get by him and Henderson just pushed him back if he, if he was nothing. So yeah. like you're going to have to rethink your tactics there. You're talking about a man with experience and you know, strength and yeah. guile and everything. wisdom and everything. So a Kiltegan sideline ball down in the dressing room corner. Brandon Ryan again. Is it Brandon Ryan. No, it's just Coogan, is it? Aaron Byrne, Aaron Byrne, Bray leading seven points to two here. A bit of a poor sideline puck, but it's going to be won by the Kiltegan uh, midfielder Mark Murphy. Sends the ball across, and it's going to ha- tail harmlessly to the left and wide. And I suppose Kiltegan have the breeze too in this half, same as Kiltegan you had in the first half. They, they have, like, and I think it has peaked up a little bit, whether it's going to make that much of a difference. Bray puck out comes to Jeremy Masson. He's going to send it long down here to Christy Moorhouse. Christy Moorhouse with Brian Carney. Carney loses the ball. Can uh, Mikey Boland pick it up? Doesn't Carney wins it and Carney wins? No, he's hits the deck there. No free. Oh, a little reverse hand pass. It was so sweet. Ball across to Ogenborn. He goes long down the field. Now, what can he, can, can he do? Down top of Ironborn. But John Henderson is there, but doesn't break it. Does break it. And here comes Davy Maloney bursting through the middle. Now, can he get a hand pass off? No, he can't. Surrounded by Kiltegan bodies. Hand pass back. Comes to James Anders. James Anders under serious pressure. Good from Kiltegan, Alan Nolan. Ball. Battling well. Battling ba- very well. Now. Ball slips to Ironborn. Gives the injury to Mark Murphy now. The Tiger from Stratford Grange Con. Murphy winds up, but he's half blocked. Coming down top of Jermaine. Jermaine with the hurl up. Breaks it down. Oh, chance for Kilhegan. Put on the ground, Podge O'Toole. Saved by the keeper. Saved by Conor McNally. That was a golden chance. Oh, a golden chance. Double miss by Podge. Just didn't bounce up into his hand. A little six inches of bounce. Just wasn't high enough for the big long fingers of him. Doubled on the, on the ground. Missed it again. Oh, there was a goal. Gonna beg him there. Hunger is there though. The battling was there from Kilhegan. Much yeah, better. Tigerish battling in the middle of the field. Two and blocks a, down. And a good morale boost and win for the defence. I said, like, the two of them back there, I think they're pound for pound the two best backs in the county beside each other for partnership. Absolutely. Coogan takes the sideline. Cook again to Mark. Mark Murphy, Mark Murphy now starting to get on a lot of ball. Oh, surely you know a, a sideline ball for uh, 
Bray Emmett's there. Oh, yeah, I thought maybe there was a bit of a sort of a frontal, but no. Now it's just Kieran Goff. Davy Maloney with the very recognisable helmet, taking the sideline cut for Bray Emmett's. She's not wonderful, but she goes as far as Podgett. Who Podgett who winds up and sends a bomb. Has it gone over the bar? A bit of indecision here. Indecision. Connor McNally is obviously claiming it hasn't gone over. They're going to. Wide ball. Wide ball is the decision reached. That's a tricky one, Kieran Manley. And is it. You, you look at the man that struck it. And if he wasn't he'd be <laughs> overly irate. aggressive, irate, is yeah. the word I was looking for. He ah. was. You know, so happy enough that uh, he's wide, yeah. Yeah, no bother. You want the words, Alan? You just let me know. Thanks very much, Oh, butter. Connor McNally puck out down the stand side. Long oh, one here by Owen McCormick. Now number 12 on his back. Sends the ball into Jimmy Masters. Masters has a bit of time and space and a lovely, just just glided it over the bar, didn't he? Stroked, Alan, is the word. Look, at the, they're finding the scores a lot, scores a lot more easier. Yeah. Like, to get anywhere up around the 45 to 65 here, they're looking up and just pop, they're actually popping them over, gliding yeah. them over. Absolutely. Eight points to two now. Kiltegan, or Brave opened up a six-point lead on Kiltegan. Luke Byrne, the bigger the keeper, sends this puck out down the top of Jermaine again. Jermaine, can he win this one? It breaks the Pajot Tool. Pajot Tool now barreling out trouble here. There's hurls flying here, but Tool has going to get the ball across. He can't. Spills. Can Coogan win off? Davy Maloney. Davy Maloney comes out and he wins it and sends the ball. A poor enough clearance, but it's a clearance at least one there by uh, Parik Byrne is it yet Parik Byrne battling hard but he's under serious pressure from Mo McCormick as you were saying that's a tough man to be marking Byrne is battling away struggling hard there on Ben McCormick's out there too I think Goff is keeping a close eye on this ball spills this Mark Murphy oh what a pick up on Mark Murphy you wouldn't see it in Croker and does he win a free no he doesn't but he slips the ball away there here comes Owen Byrne now the talented Owen Byrne must be his first touch Alan is it surely Coogan on the sideline has he got his lower bar no it's a poor strike back for a free Back for a free. What a pick up from Mark. Oh, that Murphy. was absolutely <laughs> glorious there. Now, like, like Parry Byrne done well back there. He was hassled with three players, you yeah. know, around him. Two McCormick's there and Mikey Lee, but broke away. But that was that was gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. If Kiltegan could get a goal or something, yeah. it wouldn't have changed the whole dimension of the game. Just, they can't let a gap open up much more more no. than six points here because no. these boys will absolutely put you to bed early. Yeah, a hundred percent. Your McCormick or someone will get in there for a goal in the second. It's night, 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 night. But Jermaine now, Jermaine's first chance from a place ball. Am I right? Insane. Yeah, second, yep. free of the game. second free of the game for. Here like, having a good game here. He's letting the flow, and that's what you want to see. Now there's not in it to be pulling back anyways, no, no. you know. No, no. But Jermaine normally so trustworthy from the place ball here. His usual drill fashion. That's over the bar. The crowd let us know before anybody else did. Super strike. The gap closes to five. Eight points for Bray. Kiltegan three in the Lightning Protection Ireland Senior Hurling Championship semi final. As uh, Conor McNally sends the puck out down, there's a little bit of a swing there. It's on the ball. And Dermot Masson gets a bit of space on Ogenborn. Dermot Masson strokes again. Dermot Masson, his eye is in tonight, lads. His eye is in this evening. Straight over the black spot. If that man has space, Alan, he will do serious damage. Absolutely. With 27 minutes on the clock, are we going to? I say we're possibly going to, not going to have a water break here. Has, has that break been our water break with the injury? You would imagine so, would you? You would imagine so because, you know, the, 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 the dusk is sort of a failing here, but Aaron Burns in, in possession goes across the 45, goes off to Mark Murphy. Now, a fine score for Mark Murphy is in the making here, I think. Yes, absolutely, 100%. A morale booster. The gap is closed again to five. Nine points to four. Bray lead here. In the second semi-final of the day, McNally's quick with the puck out, sends it across here to Luke Maloney. No. Too quick. Too quick, says Goff, I think. Yeah, too quick. Everyone has to be outside. Like that's, that's one thing everyone, their sticklers on now, yeah, even in kick-outs in the football, we won't go back to the football. Yeah, anymore, yeah. But like, you have to be outside, you have to follow the rules. Absolutely, yeah. McNally now chooses a different route this time, down top of Owen McCormick now, but goes over the head of McCormick uh, and over the sideline. Ben McCormick also was over there, couldn't win it. And it will be a Kiltegan sideline ball. And uh, be taken quickly enough, you would think. Yeah, like um, Mark Murphy done well to take that scorer, but if he had to go his head up there, like Liam Keogh was in there in an acre of space on his right hand side, just on the edge of the box, you know, they need a goal. There does seem to be gaps there, though, Alan. Oh, there there you know, they there. are there. Like, I mean, if they, oh, lovely stop there by the hurl of Owen Bourne there now. Owen Bourne, what can he do? Far side. Sends the ball, half blocked. Going to come to Jermaine, though. Is there anybody in space? Jermaine turns, Jermaine strikes, and I think Jermaine has scored that, Alan, oh, what a score from Shawnee Jermaine, just what the doctor ordered, Alan. Absolutely, when you hear the crowd underneath the stand over there, when the ball's in mid-air, you know she's gone over. Absolutely, they'll do a four-point lead, McNally has ball in hand in the Bray goals here, Ockram, overcast, but lively, fiery, 
Passion's high. McNally goes to the stand side. Same side. Dearman Masson's over there. Dearman Masson rises and plucks it from the sky. Masson's wearing number nine. Gives it off to his number seven halfback, Keen Lone here. Keen Lone hasn't pressed early doors. Ball long and low in. It's going to come all the way to Ogdenburn. Ogden winds up that big trademark swing. Comes down here on top of his... Uh, this is, it's the new one, isn't it? Kieran Conway. Yeah, Conway turns. Conway goes. Two Brayman on him. Can Conway go ahead? He win a free. If nothing else, I say. Conway! Bear down the goal! Conway! Oh, stopped! Tried to hoof it into the goals. It's, a, a, it's hard to know. It's total mayhem down there. McNally has the ball in hand. McNally comes out. There's no whistle sounding. Away comes Owen McCormick here. Jermaine giving chase. Out to Maloney, the midfielder. Side steps the challenge of Podge O'Toole. Away goes Maloney here now. Crossing to 65. His own 65. A poor ball. Oh, David Maloney in hard and Arnborn wins it well. He can get the back into possession to do. Pollock Burn. Back to Ogdenburn. Long. Oh, beautiful ball to Podge O'Toole. Look at the pressure of Maloney on O'Toole. Is there free? There is a free. Advantage. Malo- Podge O'Toole. On to Ogdenburn. Hits the deck. Back for the free. Hurling Championship at his best here, Brendan Lawrence. Malo- Maloney, that's what him doing his best. Slowing the ball, putting the body on the line. Slowing up Podge O'Toole. They have a free at least and a potential score to bring back to a one, one score game. Ah, but look at like, Kieran Conway has come in here. Like, you know, like, and you're losing your full forward. He's had to come in here. And like I was giving out about him a minute ago about taking on um, Henderson. He's took on two defenders here, bearing down on goalie. Yeah. He tried to put the boo on him because he couldn't get his hurl out. No. Like, spilled onto the ground. We don't know who got it. But M- McNally managed to get it up and come out. But... <laughs> <laughs> Excellent stuff here. Absolutely, yeah. Sean is remain now placed this ball. Uh, nine points to five. Bray lead Kiltegan here in okay, the county grounds in Ockram. Big score, big score. Big score this. Back to a one score game if this goes over. Jermaine, silence descends on the county grounds. Jermaine lifts and strikes. Not a wonderful strike, but I think that's a winner. Absolutely over the black spot. Jermaine, so reliable usually off the, off the, uh, the place balls. Seven minutes to be added on, Alan. Seven minutes from now. Nine points to six at one score again. The puck out down here on top of Mikey Lee. Ball is won by the Kaliki man. Parik Bourne had a little hack clear to Shawnee Germain. Oh, another score would be up. Massively uplifting. But who's there beside him? John Henderson again. Clearing up the danger. Lovely stick work from Lee. Controls the ball. Can he go past Parik Bourne? Go past Parik Bourne. Even there's advantage being played. It's a free for Bray. Little bit soft. You could see he was looking oh, at it. He had a hand up. He looked at the ref. Like, come on, give me a free. You know, and... I, <laughs> Goff bought, bought into it there. Yeah, in fairness. You know, but definitely, if Jermaine has a pocket, Henderson is in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Chrissy Morehouse takes his, or makes his usual trademark trot out here for to take this free for Bray. Should be just inside, outside his own half, or Kiltegan half, I mean. And uh, definitely within his range. Anyway, there's no ah, definitely in his range. Well, it's into the wind as well now. Look at this. Oh, we'll see what he's like now. And I don't know who had two screamers here today from it as well. So, But Johnny, or um, Chrissy's well able, well able to do this. Here he comes, he lifts and he strikes. She's not struck that well though. It's fallen dangerously, lads, and harmlessly wide in the end. Uh, ben McCormick couldn't reach it there as he went for it. Six wides on the board there now for Bray already and two for Kiltegan. Okay. Nine points to Bray, six to Kiltegan here. And uh, Ronan Byrne is shouting orders. Here comes Luke Byrne, the Kiltegan goalkeeper here with the restart. Down the centre almost, coming on top of uh, Aaron Byrne. Ball breaks, Coogan is there, can he win? Two, two uh, Kiltegan men, but picked up here by Liam Kyo, the corner forward. Gives it off to Podge O'Toole, Podge O'Toole has space now. He's a man inside him if he wants him, but he doesn't go for it. He goes instead for a beautifully struck score. Down to a two-point lead, Alan Nolan. Kiltegan are well in this game. Absolutely, two-point lead, and look at it's all Kiltegan here at the minute. McNally now looking for options. Going to go to stand side, you would think. Does so. Low trajectory. Down on top of Owen McCormick. Can he win it? McCormick catches it superbly. Absolutely brilliant, McCormick. Now what can he do? Poor ball, though. Cut up by Mark Murphy. Into the hand, Mark Murphy. And drives forward. Passes aforementioned McCormick. On he goes. Needs to get someone now. Oh, what a touch off the ground. This is some score, Alan Nolan. That is some score, Alan Nolan. Pull her up, Pull score. Pull her up says the lad. If they can do it in Crow Park, double bounce on the ground and back up into the hand and over the bar, that was... Oh, that was yeah. magical, magical lads. A one point game, Alan Nolan. You wouldn't have said it 15 minutes ago. Well, I think I tipped him at the start of the game, Brendan. Yes, yes, but uh, on the balance of play. <laughs> on the balance of play. McDonnell now having trouble getting the ball behind the goals, but gets one now. Restarting this game. If it was seven minutes added on, we have four left in the first half. What a boost it would be for Kilhegan to win level or even even better. Kilhegan won't want half time coming. No. And it happened to him again, Glen Ely, as yeah. I said before the game. Danger here now. Masterson's got him behind his, uh, his, his attacker. Masterson winds up on the sideline. Oh, has he pulled it across the face of the goal? He's pulled it across the face of the goal. Possibly the better option was maybe look for someone inside there. That's a, that's a serious angle. Look at, they're looking for a score. They're, they're clawing away there, you know. And it, like, it's 20, what are you talking? One, two, three, four. The score's unanswered there now for Kilhegan, you know. Yeah. 
So Luke Byrne, Keegan goalkeeper. Sean Germain is running into space here. Byrne hasn't got the ball in hand. The run was a bit too early. Seven minutes now since Bray got a score. Like, and that, they won't yeah. be happy with that themselves. Uh, they went for that puck out to Germain, but it was, it was kind of badly orchestrated. But here comes the uh, new man in Conway. No, is it Conway? It is Conway. Oh, look at this. He's managed to win that ball. Against the odds, you'd have to say he gives it off to Owen Byrne or tried to give it off to Owen Byrne. Hits the deck. He's a battler, isn't he? You have to ask him the question. How did this chap not start? He is a battler, lads. Davy Maloney sends a poor, poor ball up the door. Did it touch the Katinka man's hand? It did, did it? Doesn't it did. Fingers, Aaron Barney just yeah. couldn't hold on to it. It was a pity. It was a poor ball from Maloney. But, uh, yeah, but definitely, like, they've lost Murphy full forward, and, but they, they've inherited this they, lad. They have gained. gained they have is, gained. A warrior, a little fighter. He fire, is, he is terrier, dogged. Yeah. And, like, he, he had the shark grip at the hurl. He's, he's low to the ground. He's getting the ball up into his hand. And they, were, they, were, they were array on the line down there. They were looking for a chop on him, but the, the free didn't come to take his way. Oh, Masterson's sideline cuff was absolutely brilliant, but it's going to be won by Ogdenborn now. He winds up, but a poor is half blocked indeed. Here comes Coogan now being chased by Owen, Hen, Owen McCormick. The ball down the top of Jimmy. Jimmy wins the ball. Is he pushed? He's surely pushed, referee. Surely pushed. By the Bray corner back, Peter Kiley, who's uh, not happy with that decision. But uh, Stephen Coogan is there giving Jermaine a few words of encouragement. Aaron Byrne is pushing Kiley away. Goff, too, is issuing instructions to move away. Jermaine, this for a level score, Alan, with two pl two minutes of normal yeah. or injury time remaining. We've two left now, and this is a massive, this is a big score. Now, I know he said the last one was a big score, but this, this is a tough angle to hope. Shawnee Jermaine. Chris Cannon, the umpire behind him. A direct line into the goals. Oh, look at that. All day long. Never veered. Never doubted it. Straight over the black spot. We are all square in Ockram. Nine points apiece. Bray Emmis against Kiltegan in the second Lightning Protection Senior Hurling Championship semi final here. The sponsors are Lightning Protection. And uh, great to see. And here comes Ogdenborn now. Down. Oh, lovely little flick here. Oh, Mark Murphy. Oh, loose though. Oh, McCormick into. Uh, Dermot Masterson, has he got the, the distance? No, he doesn't. Back clear. Oh, danger here to Morehouse. Danger! The strike blocked by the body of one of them. I think it was uh, Brian Carney, was it? No, Mangan. Was it? Oh, Mangan's down. Mangan's down. Just yeah, put your body on the line. Like, didn't get the hurling there. He put his whole frame in front of that because, like, that was Nick. Christy, Christy, Christy Morehouse winding up full whack. 21 yards out. Like, there's only one place that was going. Like, Mangan got his frame in front of it there. I think he's took it in the midriff. Look, he's down again. Look, Kildegan won't want, to, no. won't want another injury here, especially... Especially Not to their, 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 their defence anyway, because no. they're, they're, they're doing so well. But the Tigerish and the battling that Kiltegan are doing here, like their, their camp is in a very, very good place. Yeah. They, they come in with a full bill of health, there's no one injured now. The one lad gone off alright with a nasty enough injury, but they definitely won't want to lose Mangan here. He's, they're rubbing him on the old belly there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd say it's more of a stinger now than nothing else. <laughs> I'd say so, yeah. It's no. a little bruise there now for a few days, but no. <laughs> Christy would be pulling from the hip like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, there'd be power behind it, horsepower. But uh, be a throw ball, I think, Alan. Yeah. Yeah, throw ball and uh, nine points apiece here. We have 36 minutes and 44 seconds on the. Or will he let um, Kildegan uh, an indirect ray? I'd say so, yeah. Because they, they put the ball out, out there. Well. Yes, there it is. Yes, here it is. Ogenborn is the man to take this yeah. in his own square here. If the halftime whistle can't be far away. Ogen lifts. Ogden strikes way down the field, deep strike now. Another score here will be a massive boost for Kiltegan. Men's ball is bad away by Bray and bad away brilliantly, brilliantly to Keen Lowen. Keen Lowen in space, lovely ball to Mikey Lee. Mikey Lee winds up and sends the ball over the bar. That's the danger. That's the danger. They can hit you in a second. Sucker punch. Bray retake the lead here. Luke Byrne. That's bread and butter all yeah. day long there. Like you cannot leave space on them. You're at the door. You're like, as they 30 minutes of such strenuous mark and you know on yep. lightly and then you just do it like that absolutely now Luke Bourne down top of Sean Germain he's getting good uh, rewards the last few minutes the ball breaks well breaks well to Owen Bourne here oh it'll be doesn't have the legs I don't think doesn't have his, the hurl yeah the hurl is gone the hurl is gone and uh, the restart straight out to uh, Dimmer Masson but over the sideline harmlessly that's four times underneath the standing size that uh, McNally's clearances have gone out over there like, so, like there's, there's pressure being applied here yeah, yeah 100% so, uh, Kiltegan sideline ball and no sign of the half time whistle. We have. No, well, like, yeah, I suppose Mangan was down there, there for a minute yeah. or so. But, like, like um, Owen Byrne just needs to steady up there, you know, like, don't get a, a rush of blood at the head. Like, lads peeling off your shoulder there, take the wise decision and just look for someone in a better place. Like, he was running off, like, he didn't get a chance to plant his feet there to, to strike properly. Yeah. Now, Bray have intercepted the sideline ball here now and Kiltegan, the last thing Kiltegan want now is Bray to finish on a high but here comes Christy Moorhouse and if anyone can finish on a high it's Christy Moorhouse between Chase Hard by Brian Carney here Moorhouse winds up but that has veered to the left has it? Wide ball says Liam Keenan Sr yeah. if it is Liam Keenan Sr no maybe it's not it is is it? yeah, yeah. wide ball from Christy Moorhouse 
Bray still lead. Here comes Luke Byrne. Ten points to nine. There's the halftime whistle from Kieran Goff. Javier on Greystones. Bringing a very entertaining first half to an end, Alan Nolan. Absolutely smashing. You man. tipped Kiltegan, and you know what? You're, you're not in a bad place for your bet. Well, I'm halfway there. Yeah. You know. Halfway there. Well, well, I'm not really because I'm down by a point. Yeah, but you know, you're. you're <laughs> 45% there <laughs> yeah, yeah. we won't argue we, that we couldn't have asked for any better entertainment there like with the injury that were down there we thought like, the game stopped for so long it was going to so take the sting out uh, it looked like it be there for like Boland come on an absolute rally there scored three points they, they, Kiltegan regrouped got one or two defenders back in the place Mangan went back over there Boland hasn't been mentioned since no. yeah, then he put his body on the line there stopped a the rocket there from Christie he's coming off here now he's, hot, he's sore thumb now but looks at things as well but look at Kiltegan still well in this game Oh, absolutely well in this game, and the happier the camps, you would think. Yeah, oh, 100%, yeah. 100%. Absolutely. Right, we'll take a quick break. Uh, Lightning Protection Ireland's Senior Hurling Championship semi final here in Ockram half time. Emma, uh, Bray Emmett's leading Kiltegan by 10 points to nine. Humdinger of a second half to look forward to. Bray will have the wind. Kiltegan will be heading to the Redden Hill end, and it'll all be to play for. GAA. We all belong here, in this place, at this time. We belong not because of who we are or where we come from. Being here means belonging. Belonging means knowing you're part of a community. A community that has a place for all. Where potential is nurtured. Where individuals become teams. We honour the legacy of those who went before and strive to build a legacy of their own. Some of us play. Some of us used to play, some of us never played. We all belong. Belonging means having a voice, means being able to say what you think is right. Being listened to. Belonging means respecting each other, means being there for each other, on the pitch, off the pitch. Belonging means rolling our sleeves up and doing what needs to be done. We all belong, whether it's our first day or our hundredth year. We all belong here because this place belongs to us all. Our GAA, where we all belong. Street Dublin and I am Horland. Right, sorry, Chief. Challenge is first person to get the ball through the hall wins. I go first. <laughs> Did you give me that one? Give you that one. Susan Vaughan, O'Gunna Love Claire. I am Hurley. Paul Sheehan, Yuri Shamrocks, down. I am Hurley. Dexon Hennon, Adair, Limerick. I am hurling. Richie Hogan, Dane Sports, to Kenny. I am hurling. Are you 